What's going on, everybody? It is Physical Friday, and this is a particularly interesting one to me, and I'll tell you why in just a second. This summer, for the entire summer, we have been doing physical challenges. We've done things uh, nutritionally. We've tried to drink a gallon of water a day to see how that makes you feel. We've tried to make sure we get eight hours of sleep every night for five nights, and each one of these challenges has been a five-day challenge. Do something consistently for five days. Give it a chance. And just like Bruce Lee said, absorb what is useful, discard the rest, add in what is uniquely your own. So that is the theme of the summer. That is what we're doing. We're trying new things. Maybe you've never drank a gallon of water every day for five days. Maybe you've never gotten eight hours of sleep for five days in a row. Or maybe maybe you just haven't had the opportunity in the last couple of years. Try something for five days. Keep a journal. See what's going on. Do you feel better? If you do, keep it or a portion of it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Let it go. Then when people talk about, you know, um, I don't know, drinking a lot of water or uh, getting a lot of sleep or I don't know, whatever, you can say, well, I tried that and, you know, I feel like this is my, this is my sweet spot. I need six hours of sleep. I need nine hours of sleep. I don't know what you need, but that is what we're doing. We're kind of experimenting. We're doing some experiments. Uh, one that it was incredibly popular was the Joe Hip and Steel stretching program. I still get texts from people that are trying that and receiving great benefit from doing these certain stretches for five days in a row. And if you haven't listened to that podcast, go back and listen to the one with Joe Hip and Steel um, and, and maybe try those. It's been very, very beneficial for a lot of people and maybe it's beneficial for you. This week is going to be slightly different. This one is probably not going to be beneficial to anyone, including me. Now, every year on my birthday, I select a physical challenge to do. And in the years past, we've done something like triple Murph, which is a Murph is run a mile, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and then you run a mile. Well, I've decided that on my birthday, I'm going to do that three times. And that's been fun. It's been challenging. It's been hard. It's been something I said I'd never do again. And then sometime I do it again. Um, it's just kind of a a rite of passage as an, as I spend another year on this planet, like something to celebrate my birthday. When I told my daughter that I was going to celebrate, celebrate my birthday that way, when she was a little girl, she looked at me with a puzzled look on her face and she said, but dad, no one is going to come to your party, <laughs> which she was kind of right. Nobody wanted to come to my party, but some people did. So this, this year, on this week of Physical Friday, we're going to do something different that is going to um, have to do with my birthday. So this week is probably not going to be a nutritional challenge where we're just going to try something and discard it if it doesn't work or keep it if it does uh, or add in something uniquely our own. This is a mental challenge and a physical challenge. And the challenge is that I've decided to do this um birthday, when I turn 53 years old, I am going to do a hero workout for five days in a row. Not really suggested. So if you want to try this, go for it. If you don't want to try it, that is perfectly fine. Uh, if you just want to send me a text saying happy birthday and you don't want to do anything associated with this, I'm perfectly fine with this. I'm not advocating that you do it. Um, but this is what I'm going to do for my birthday. So if you want to join in, great. If you don't, I understand. That's fine. CrossFit has what they call hero and tribute workouts. You can see them at CrossFit.com. And since 2005, they have posted workouts meant to honor the memories of CrossFit service members who made the ultimate sacrifice and exemplary members of the CrossFit community who are no longer with us. So Unfortunately, heroes serve this country and die. CrossFit memorializes them by giving them a workout with their name. So a couple things going on here. First of all, I'd like to pay tribute to those people. Secondly, it's not called a hero workout for no reason. All of these are difficult. They are challenging and hard. So there are... 
Lots of them. I will scroll down through here. Here's the the one that most people know. This is a Murph, uh, four time run one mile, hundred pull ups, two hundred push ups, three hundred squats, run a mile. Uh, it, on each of these, it tells you who this workout is named for and why. Uh, this is Lieutenant Michael Murphy. He was a Navy SEAL uh, that was uh, a part of the Operation Red Wing. And uh, a lot of people do that workout every year. There are plenty, plenty, plenty of other ones. And we continue to scroll down through here. And you can see that there are, I don't know how many there are. I, I think it's safe to say that there's hundreds. Um, so you can choose anyone. Choose any hero workout. If it's on this list, it's fair game. Do one five days in a row. They are not, they're not um, intended to be easy. They are hard, and a lot of them are very heavy. Do it the best that you can. Um, some of them I do have to scale, uh, but I try to do them the way they're written, and I try to do them... Um, you know, when I choose to do a hero workout, I choose to try to do it the way that it's written because it is supposed to be challenging and supposed to be hard. But some of them are literally outside of my capabilities, maybe your capabilities, and you do have to scale some of them. So um, that's it. Physical Friday, five hero workouts in a row. Now it's Friday. You could start one today and do one Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You could be done with this thing by Tuesday. Or, as I'm going to do it, I'm going to start on Monday. And I'm going to do one Monday through Friday. We're going to pick a hero workout um, for every day next week. And that's how I'm going to celebrate my birthday. If you want to do that, go for it. I do not suggest it and don't think it's a good idea, even for me. But that's the way I'm going to celebrate my birthday. So, awesome. If you want to wish me happy birthday, that would be fantastic. You can always do that at the text thread 305-930-7346. Um, if you want to join the mindset community there, all you got to do is text the word mindset, uh, M-I-N-D-S-E-T. And every Monday at 10, at 9, 10 a.m., you will get in 400 characters or less a little uh, quote and a little commentary on that quote. Um, it's been very popular. A lot of people have joined that. So I hope you're getting something out of that. If you want to do that, that'd be awesome. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. If I make it, um, I'll be 53 by then and have five hero workouts under my belt. All right. That's Physical Friday for today. If you choose to do this, you're doing so at your own risk and you, um, you're doing so on your own volition. If you don't choose to do this, good for you. Awesome. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll see you next week. See you.